Every hour, hundreds of swabs are bagged and collected by drivers like Raina Stora. We're transporting the samples to St Vincent's Hospital in Sydney. It's an incredible process. It is, yes, yeah, absolutely. And considering the volumes we receive, it's, it's quite overwhelming, but we're getting the job done. Rainer delivers them to the team working inside the specimen reception. They're sorted into piles. One by one, they're scanned and triaged into a computer. This is the moment the barcode produced back at the testing site is matched with the one pre-sent to the lab. So this small corner is seeing 8,000 samples a day. A bag of vials is then secured onto an automatic train. Three minutes later, it arrives here in the microbiology lab, where science will take over. Damien Stark and his team are working around the clock just to keep up. First, the samples are manually pipetted into what scientists call reaction tubes. The vials are heated to break down the cells. That process will release any viral genetic material. Then they're placed into this automated robot. So this is a sample processing stage. 400 samples can be loaded here at a time. At the moment, the robot is working 24-7. The RNA is lysed, is released from the cells, and it's amplified up to detectable levels so we can actually detect the virus. A plate with dozens of specimens is removed. So in all these little circles, there could be... So each individual well is a patient sample here. And placed into these machines, which will determine the final COVID result. After the specimen's been processed, uh, they go on these thermal cyclers here, uh, and this is the detection process of the test. So this is where you'll find out if you have a positive sample? This is where we have positives or negatives and where they're detected. And we can see here we've had one from the other night, uh, dual target positive. Uh, so you've got a positive COVID test here? That's correct. What's the process from here? The process is then notified through to the Ministry of Health uh, and they take over from there. We've got a long way to go, do you think? I think we do. That we need to dig in. Uh, this is a particular spike that we will get on top of, uh, but this will continue to happen. We know this and we're prepared for that. Uh, but as soon as the vaccinations come in line and we get more of the community vaccinated, then we'll see less of these events occurring and greater protection for the community.